Hello everyone, welcome to Tesla Shree channel and this is Shree. Uh, so how easy is it to get into the Tesla's full self-driving beta program and uh, how does Tesla determine uh, who is eligible to receive uh, or uh, test out the beta version? So to answer that, Tesla develop, uh, developed a safety scoring uh, program where if you uh, enroll into that, uh, it tracks your driving and uh, your driving style and how safe of a driver you are uh, depending on a, a, f a five or six factors and then gives you a score at the end of the drive. So this safety score is what Tesla uses to determine uh, you know, if you are eligible to uh, receive and test out the full self-driving beta version or not. So I thought in this video, I'll show you how the safety scoring system works and how difficult it is uh, to keep a, to get a score of 100 because the score goes from zero to 100 and Tesla started rolling out uh, beta version only to those with the score of 100 out of 100 and uh, they recently rolled it out to everyone with a 99 score and that's how I was able to finally get it because I was on 99. Uh, so I'll give you a breakdown of all the scoring factors and I'll show you how my uh, scores were over the past uh, month. So yeah, let's take a look. So I am in the Android app, uh, Tesla's uh, Android app. And as you see, uh, I'm waiting to install an update uh, for the FSD beta version. So Tesla, uh, as you saw uh, on my video, released a FSD beta uh, version 10.3 and they did roll it back the same day uh, because they found some issues on it. Um, and then I, I didn't have beta for one whole day. Uh, but then they, I think they've already fixed the issues they noticed and uh, improved it. So I uh, am waiting to install 2021.36.5.3, uh, which is the beta version again. Uh, so before I install that, I thought I'll quickly show you the, the safety score. Um, and uh, I will go into details on the Tesla app, the mobile app, uh, in, a, in a different video. But today I just wanted to concentrate mainly on the safety score beta that you see here. Um, and this is, uh, so let me click on that. So safety score uh, beta version is something Tesla developed uh, internally, like a scoring system that Tesla developed. Uh, and this is to determine who all, uh, you know, should receive the beta version. And, uh, uh, and, and, that, and that's what they use uh, this for. So the scoring system has uh, all these scoring factors. So let me click on learn more under scoring factors. So, uh, and this is uh, how the scoring system works. So your driving behavior will exclude any event that occur while autopilot is engaged. That's the first statement they say. So if, if you are driving with autopilot on, uh, it is supposed to uh, ignore those. Uh, you know, if, if something happens, maybe like uh, it, it breaks suddenly for uh, a car in front of you. So it is supposed to ignore that while considering your scoring. Uh, so the factors are forward collision warning. So uh, if, if uh, Tesla detects uh, an object like maybe a car or something else right and immediately in front of you while you're dr driving, it gives you a loud chime and, uh, you know, uh, and an indication on the screen that there is uh, something right in front of you and then take over immediately or it breaks for you. So that's the forward collision warning and uh, the measure in, on, in this case, the factor is the rate of forward collision warnings uh, per thousand miles. So that's the first one and it is a critical one. So if you, if you receive a forward collision warning uh, during your drive, your score gets dinged uh, by a lot. So just make sure you don't receive that. And I'll show you uh, the one warning that I did and how it affected my score. Uh, and then the next one is hard braking. So how quick, I mean, how uh, hard are you uh, in your braking? So with this, uh, I think uh, they mainly uh, score you based on how quickly you decelerate and then come to a stop. Um, so this is to make sure you're not following too close to a car in front of you and then um, you, you're immediately braking because the uh, person in front of you brake. So that's hard braking and aggressive turning as the name suggests how fast of a, uh, you know, turns do you make? Uh, how aggressive turning do you uh, make while making left or right turns? Uh, so this again, it expects you to go uh, make 
turns as slow as possible. Um, just, uh, you know, you, you feel uh, when you're driving, you know, when you're making an aggressive turn, you, you're moving in your seats, uh, moving left or right in your seat. So you, you want to avoid that kind of aggressive turn. And then unsafe following, this uh, refers to the proportion of following time spent at an unsafe following distance. So, uh, so initially when I started uh, testing or started building my score, I noticed that it likes you to have at least three or four uh, car distance between you and the car in front of you uh, when you're on a highway. And then on the streets, at least maintain one or two car distance uh, when you're in within the city streets. So that's unsafe following. And then forced autopilot disengagements. So this, uh, uh, so fo uh, so sometimes when you're on autopilot and then something happens, uh, you know, all of a sudden maybe a car uh, comes in front of you all of a sudden, and then or your uh, if you go, uh, you know, uh, so your set speed is uh, say 70 miles per hour, and then if you accelerate uh, to more than 90 miles per hour, so autopilot gets disengaged. So uh, automatically, so you want to avoid that as well. So the number of times autopilot is disabled due to ignored alerts. And yeah, I didn't talk about that. So it does give you alerts to keep your hand on the steering wheel uh, or, you know, if, if you're not, so now Tesla can track your uh, eyes, you know, if you're focusing in the front using an internal uh, uh, camera that's inside the cabin. Uh, so that again, if, if it notices that you're not been paying attention, it gives you an alert. And if you keep ignoring those alerts, uh, then it will automatically disengage uh, autopilot. So those are the scoring factors. So let me close out of this. Uh, and then you can not see uh, when you go to scoring uh, safety score page. So you're, it started off with September 26th. Um, so they started the scoring uh, model from September 26th. So I have about one month's data available here, September 26th to October 25th. And I have been able to maintain uh, a score of 99. Uh, though I did lose out on 100 because of one forward collision warning that I got over one month period. So that is really critical. And you see my forward collision warning average uh, out at 1.6. So if you click on the arrow next to your score, it does show you uh, the warning you received. So if you see, like I said, it was right at the beginning of uh, when they started scoring you for your drives and uh, someone turned immediately in front of me so I couldn't uh, avoid the warning. Though uh, nothing happened, I, I did have enough gap between me and the car in front of me, but I did get a warning so it, it did affect my score because of that. Uh, and then heartbreaking, aggressive turning, I, I rarely, uh, even before the scoring, I wouldn't be doing those. So I've been fine with that. And unsafe following, uh, when you're in a big city like Houston, it is a little difficult to you know maintain that much of a distance in front of uh, you because many people will get restless if they see a huge gap between you and the car in front of you. So they try to merge uh, or get in between you. So that is a little difficult to maintain, but it has been, I've been able to maintain it. So let me expand that. And as you see, it, it does fluctuate a bit, you know, once in a while, if someone comes in front of me immediately, I, I don't have an option to, you know, maintain that distance. So I do try to slow down, but the graph fluctuates between the dates. Um, and let me just show my handbrake, uh, heartbreaking, uh, you know, here and there, I did get a little, uh, heartbreaking event but aggressive turning again uh, the same drive uh, when initially they started the scoring uh, i i think i was a i did one turn which was a little too quick so that's where uh, it, it dinged me for that but then everything else has been uh, i have not done any aggressive turn after that and i've never got a forced autopilot disengagements uh, so this is very rare uh, uh, I've, I've never got it rather since the day I got the car. So those are my safety scores. So that's how I've been like, I've been driving real careful, uh, keeping all drive as safe as possible. I've been cautious. Uh, and then you can look at every day's uh, data by clicking on daily details. So if you click on daily details, uh, it will uh, default to today's, uh, you know, driving info. But I didn't take my 
uh, car out yet uh, but you do see in the graph starting from uh, it gives you a month a month uh, information so starting from uh, September 26th to October 25th so that that's all the driving I've done and if you notice the scoring goes from 0 to 100 um, so that's uh, again um, it has all been uh, above 98 and 99 for me so that's how I've been able to maintain but there are uh, cases where I did lose out so let me go back one day uh, maybe a couple of days. Uh, so here again, if you look at a uh, day's info, it shows you the score for that day. So for example, October 23rd, my score was uh, 100 and then miles driven was about 16 miles. So, uh, and then that's my daily average. So other than unsafe following, I have zero on all. So that's what you're looking for. Uh, so if you click on trips, it shows you uh, the trips you did. So. Uh, the eight, the 16 miles were actually two different trips of eight miles. So back, you know, I went somewhere from my home and then came back eight miles. So that's my score. So the second trip, unsafe following, I think I got 12.4 because of uh, I might have followed someone, uh, you know, someone might have cut cut off in front of me. But the first trip, again, it's in the green. Uh, so that's how you can review your score, uh, improve it. Uh, uh, based on uh, what what you see and uh, where your area of improvement can be and also there's a safety score simulator that they provided for you where you can enter your uh, you know score and then see how you can improve upon so you can adjust the scoring here so for example the forward collision warning it goes from uh, 0 to a maximum value of 100 so when you click on that it shows you the max value so if I enter say uh, 15 and then hit enter so it shows me so if I get a score of 15 my score will go back uh, to 96 for that day so that again um, that'll affect your score pretty much so even if I do uh, get a score of 5 it, it, it takes you down one by one so let me change that to 0 and heartbreaking again daily percentage uh, so this is a daily percentage value uh, it goes from 0 to 7.4 that's the maximum uh, if you do 7.4 your score is going back by 78 so just be careful uh, how you drive uh, and then let me just do two and then it goes to 96 so here you can play around with it and then uh, see where you're lagging and how how much you need to improve in terms of score and also they have at the bottom of the screen tips to improve your safety score so if i click on that it shows you driving tips on each scoring factors and uh, how you can uh, improve upon your score so i wouldn't read through all that but uh, i mean in, in the video but you can always pause it and uh, read through that uh, also there are indicators that uh, are on the same uh, faq where uh, it shows you what uh, these indicators refer to. So red is unsafe. It will reduce your safety score. Uh, and then you have a orange or yellow uh, colored where uh, less safe and then improvements will increase your safety score. So if you're in the orange or green, it, it, there are a better chance of you getting uh, the beta version. And safe will increase your safety score. Uh, so those are the indicators. And uh, that's how uh, I was able to you know, keep track of uh, uh, that, uh, well, that's how Tesla uh, determined, you know, uh, who all should receive uh, uh, FST beta and then who will be eligible to test it out. So they started with uh, uh, rolling out FST beta for everyone with a score of 100 uh, and then they started rolling out uh, beta to everyone with a score of 99 and that's how I received it. So slowly, uh, as in when the system gets improved, they'll start rolling it out to, uh, you know, uh, everyone with score 98, 97 and so on, uh, so that the more number of people are testing out the beta version and providing their input uh, to improve uh, Tesla's full self-driving software. Uh, so yeah, hope this gave you some information on uh, how uh, I, I was able to get the get into the beta version and uh, uh, really happy to have it and then I'll keep on uh, driving and testing it out and providing my feedback. 
So yeah, uh, hope you like this video and then I'll, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.